Hi, welcome to another Pod and Worthy, where we talk about everyday life while also living with a disability. Today, I want to talk about what it means to be a heels dancer versus your love life. Now, there's two types of heel styles out there, one that's more sensual and another that's more sexual. Um, at the end of the day, they both express femininity and they're both really beautiful styles. Now, how I express myself in a heel does not mean it's easier to become part of my love life. If anything, it's harder. Because dancing in a heel has allowed me to really solidify and get to know my own boundaries in my body and who I am as a person. It's allowed me to express the love that I have for myself and for my body that's so deep, so rich, that honestly, someone needs to meet that, but most importantly, top that. I am grateful that the men that I've dated in my past have always respected my non-negotiable of controlling what I wear or being a heels teacher. That in itself is a really attractive quality to me because it shows me that they're so confident in who they are that they don't feel the need to police my body. Dancing in a heel has taught me to be so much more aware of red flags because of music. Music is all about life and life experiences. You could dance to a song by Nicki Minaj WAP and want to twerk and just express your sexuality to a song by Sabrina Claudio called Orion's Belt, where it's all about just taking a chance and a risk in love. You know, it helps you just feel so confident in different aspects about life. And for me, heels dancing is just about a way to express myself. It's not about someone else. It's about me and my journey and how I want to see where that journey goes in the future, if that makes sense. At the end of the day, dancing in a heel is a powerful tool. It's therapeutic. It's one of my superpowers. It's all about how it makes you feel.